Good morning, students. Once again, I am here to take your chemistry class. Last lecture we discussed about matter. Now today we will discuss its classification on the basis of its physical properties, that is, solid, liquid, and gas. So, students, as we all are aware, that matter exists in three different states, and so its properties also varies accordingly. Let us start with the first state of matter, that is, solid. Example of solid can be rock, pen, stone, uh, stick, any other thing. As you can see the diagram I have drawn for you students. Here the particles are closely packed to each other and so the particles have strong force of attraction between them which is the reason for the below mentioned properties of solids. Now the first point, the first property of solid is that it is hard and it cannot be compressed. Students as you can see in the diagram and be diagram between the particles there is no space. So definitely there is no space between the particles it will not be able to it will not be able to be compressed and so it is hard. Now we have an exception here as I can take an example of sponge which is also considered to be a solid but if I apply force on it, it can be compressed. Now here students in this regard I would say that since the substances like sponge which is also considered as solid but still it can be compressed you can see it is because it is having minute pores into it. When we talk about these minute pores the air is uh, trapped between these pores and when you apply force the air expels out. When air expels out it, the shape of it can be changed or you can say that it can be compressed. Now let us deal with the second uh, property of solid that is it has fixed shape and volume. As I already said that the particles are closely packed so there is no scope of movement of particles. They are fixed on their places and hence it gives a shape, a fixed shape and volume to the solids. Now in this regard also students I have to show you something. Let us take the example of sand, salt and sugar. When we talk about sand, salt and sugar, if I keep it into any container, it takes the shape of that particular container. Here I am keeping the sand into this container, it takes the shape of this glass. Now in this regard I would say that when we talk about solids like this, the shape of the solids do not change. We can say this because every crystal of sand, every crystal of sugar and every crystal of salt does not change its shape. Though the whole quantity takes the shape of the container, but when we talk about each and every crystal of sand and salt and sugar, the shape does not change and so we can say that solids have fixed shape and volume. Now let us talk about the third property of solid that is high density. It has high density. Let me just remind you students that density is the ratio of mass and volume. When we talk about mass, more number of particles gives it a more mass and definitely when it has more mass, the density of all the solids would be high. The fourth property of solid is that it does not flow. When we talk about solid, we have never seen a solid flowing from anywhere, from a higher level or from anywhere to any other place. It is because the particles have very strong force of attraction between them and when these particles are strongly attracted, there is no scope of movement of these particles and so the solids cannot flow. Now let us consider the second state of matter that is liquid. The example of liquid is water, milk, oil etc. Here also I have drawn a diagram for you students. You can see that the, the particles of the liquids have, uh, you can see that the space between the particles of the liquid is little more in comparison to that of the solid and so we can say that it has uh, less force of attraction between the particles. Now let us start discussing about the properties of liquid. The first property is that it has fixed volume. It is because at a given temperature inter-particle space is always fixed and so the volume of a liquid is fixed. But liquids do not have a fixed shape. It takes the shape of the container in which it is kept. Now let us consider this point students. Since the force of attraction between the particles is little less, so we can say that the liquids take the shape of the container in which it is kept. Now let us take the example here. I will show you when I take the water and keep it into a glass, it takes the shape of the glass. <coughs> when I keep it into a bowl, it takes the shape of a bowl. And when it is kept in another beaker, it takes the shape of this beaker. 
here you can see when we keep the liquids in different containers it takes the shape of the different containers like a glass a bowl and a beaker now let us come to the second point that liquids cannot be compressed much since we all know that more space between the particles more it can be compressed and liquids have comparatively more space than solids and less than gases so its compressibility is also moderate now let us talk about its third property that is density again it's comparatively high this is because of particles that are quite close to each other here also you can see that the uh, as i said earlier also students that density depends upon the mass in a particular volume and here also we can see that the particles are um, more in comparison to that of the gas and less in comparison to that of the solids so we can say that liquids are less dense than solids and having more density than gas now let us discuss the last point of liquid that is liquids generally flow easily we have all seen liquids flowing from a higher level to lower level that is why it's written that liquids flow from a particular in a particular direction that is always from a higher level to lower level now in this regard i would say students that since the particles have space between them and have little less force of attraction between them so the particles are allowed to move away from each other and so liquids can flow one more thing i would like to add here that the liquid the particles of the liquids can slide over one another this is also one of the reason why liquids have the uh, tendency to flow now let us talk about the third state of matter that is gas here you can see that the particles are far apart from each other and so the force of attraction between the particles is very very less in comparison to that of liquid and solid examples of gas can be carbon dioxide air oxygen water vapor steam any other thing now let us start with the properties of gas the first property is that it has no fixed shape nor the fixed volume here also students i would like to say the same thing that since the particles have very very less force of attraction between them so definitely it does not gives a fixed shape and a fixed volume to the gases since it can move anywhere it can be compressed easily since there is much space in between the particles so when you apply pressure on it it can be compressed to a large extent regarding the density the density is very less because as we all know again i have i will be reminding you that density is the ratio of mass and volume mass in in a particular volume so when more num less number of particles less will be the mass and so the density of gases are very less now the fourth property is that gases flow easily in all the directions this is because the force of attraction between the particles is very very less they are not strongly attracted and they are free to move from one place to another so gases can flow in in any direction now as we have studied all these three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas and we have studied all its properties now we can say that the reason behind different properties of solid liquid and gas is that the spaces between the particles the force of attraction between the particles and the amount of movement of particles these three are the basic reasons responsible for all the different properties of solid liquid and gas now students one more property we will discuss today that is diffusion diffusion is intermixing of particles from one substance to another let us take example of an incense stick kept in any one corner of room whose fragrance spreads throughout the room now this is because incense stick particles are moving continuously and mixing with air particles this is what we call diffusion mixing of one substance with another substance due to the motion of its particles now the rate of diffusion is different in different states of matter as we can see here students the rate of diffusion is minimum is so in solid moderate in liquid and very high that is maximum in gaseous state of matter uh, in students the rate of diffusion depends on the interparticle space and force of attraction between the particles more will be the force of attraction as in the case of solids 
particles will be strongly bonded to each other and thus its movement will be difficult. Thus the rate of diffusion is very less in solids, comparatively high in liquids and maximum in gases. Because in gas particles it has less force of attraction and they are free to move. Let us take some examples from our daily life. The first example is that smell of food being cooked in the kitchen reaches everywhere in the house. Now here in this first example I would say that when your mother cooks food for you, you can smell it from any corner of the house. This is because the particles, the food particles which are being cooked, it intermixes with the particles of the air and it reaches to every corner of the room. This is called as diffusion in gas. Diffusion in air you can say. The smell of perfume spreads into air. When we talk about the smell of the perfume or the fragrance of perfume, when you apply it on you, it can be, it, you, you can smell it from any other corner of the room also because the particles of the perfume mixes with the particles of air and it spreads everywhere. Now these two examples are the examples of diffusion in gas. Now let us consider the example of diffusion in liquid. When we talk about spreading of color of any ink in water, that is also because of diffusion. Let us take this example. If you put a drop of ink in water, you can see that the color of the whole water, the color of the whole water changes because of the diffusion which is taking place in water. Uh, that is the particles of ink and the particles of water mixes with each other. Now let us talk about the fourth property, the fourth example which I have written here. And this example is, is the example of diffusion in solid. Now write something on a blackboard and leave it for 10 to 15 days. You will see it is difficult to clean it since chalk particles get diffused into the surface of the blackboard. Let me just show you this. When I write when you write something on the blackboard, you can see that the particles of the chalk get mixed with the particles of the surface of the blackboard. And when you keep it for 10 to 15 days, students, it will be very difficult for you to remove it. This is also one of the example of diffusion and this example is for solid. Now, the conclusion is that rate of diffusion is very slow in solids and in liquids it is much faster and it is maximum in gaseous state of matter. So that's all for today's students. Uh, I hope the topics which I have taught is clear to all of you based on the above mentioned, above taught topics. I will be giving you an assignment. The assignment is having three questions. The first one is that sponge is a solid but still can be compressed. Explain. Rate of diffusion is maximum in gas. Why? Compare the properties of solid, liquid and gas in tabular form. You can make a table here students and compare the properties of all the three states of matter. Writing the first column as the property column, you can just mention about the interparticle space, interparticle force of attraction, about the shape and size, about, about its density, rigidity and other points can be mentioned here. Students, I hope the lecture today I have given is clear to all of you and the copy which can be used for doing the assignment can be an old copy also in the lack of availability of a new copy. Thank you. Have a nice day and stay safe students.